What's up, YouTube, and welcome to my uh, new daily news video, or bi-daily, I don't know, every few days, whenever news comes out video. Uh, in the background, you'll see some gameplay from Destiny, which is an amazing game, if you ask me. Still playing through it. Um, today's news is on Battlefield in general. First up is Battlefield 4's final DLC expansion pack, Final Stand. Uh, they announced it with a brand new trailer unveiling four icy Russian maps and they have um, uh, what do you call it they have a little quote from battle log from dice LA's uh, I guess their lead designers Christopher Burkvist and David Surland where they said that taking place on the Arctic landscape of Russia where the scientists of today are experimenting with technology that would define the battlefields of tomorrow battlefield 2142 anyone Final Stand will deliver four maps that are unique and distinct, with its military installation set against a wintry landscape. Expect intense infantry-focused combat. Uh, some new additions to this uh, DLC is uh, a new battle pickup, the Railgun, that fires a single round of powerful kinetic energy, and as well an experimental hover tank that uses eight jet propulsion engines. Whew. Excuse me, my yawning problem. Uh, and these engines help it to maneuver um, like in every direction quickly than uh, regular tanks. Other stuff to be known about this DLC is there are no new re uh, new weapons besides the battle pickup, which is unfortunate. And the names of the maps are Operation Whiteout, Hammerhead, Giants of Karelia, and Hangar 21. And they all look amazing. It's about time we get some winter maps, some snow maps. Snow maps are some of my favorite. And um, they also opened up the maps already uh, to CTA, CTE players on PC. That was last week. Uh, I expect the patch to be out by the end of the month. And the DLC to be out by the beginning of next month. As October rounds out the one year of premium for Battle for Four. And they will probably drop support right after and continue on with Hardline and whatever else Dice LA might be working on next since Visceral is working on Hardline. Uh, in other news with Hardline is new details from Visceral Games General Manager Steve Popotsis. Uh, there is a second beta coming in January and it will be open to all consoles. PC, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PlayStation 3. And as well, there will be 150 ranks in total for the game, which is less than Battlefield 4 because you have to go to 100 in Battlefield 4. And once you get to 100, then you unlock the uh, Colonel Stars. And then from there, there's another. What is 100? Wait, maybe not. Battlefield, I think it was 50. I forgot what it was. Once you reach that number, then you get start over with Colonel. One or Colonel two, and then you have to rank up from there. I just can't remember, but there's a lot more than 150 ranks total in Battle for Four. This one's making it simple, just 150 at launch. Might include more in the future. There will be benefits to pre-existing premium members and veterans, and competitive players can look forward to an additional esports mode besides rescue mode. They haven't announced what it is. They said they plan to have spectator mode. Five new modes in total are in the works. No co-op mode is planned. Uh, Mid-September is when we'll get a better look at the vehicle focus mode hotwire. There will be an M1911 handgun, M416 assault rifle, ballistic shield, and a team deathmatch game mode. And there will be no visual recoil in the game, which will be in the next patch for Battlefield 4. Uh, so anything that's patched in Battlefield 4, thanks to CTE, will be... Uh, hardwired into hardline before it even comes out so all new additions fixes and all that should be uh, shared between two which is great news yet also kind of disappointing because it really makes hardline feel like a map pack and expansion but I'm still excited I can't wait for that to come out early next year uh, be on the lookout for more news guys as we get closer and closer to final stands launch as I'll have videos up for that when it comes out and trophy guides for the small trophies till then take care Stay frosty.